Right, I'm trying to get this capacitance sensor sorted out. At the moment I've got a, an acrylic surface on here. This is my old bed which I've cut down, have to cut down a bit to fit onto here. That's why it's got this shape cut out because it did have a part cut out there. Now, hopefully I can show you this. I'm going to turn out the lights so it, there's an LED on the top of there of that capacitance sensor which is here. I'll just try and zoom in a bit. Okay. Now watch this. Now this is the boarding tube coming down here. I'm just going to move that. Just touching it slightly. And as you can imagine, the boarding tube's going to move left, right, basically up and down. You try the actual cable going in, going in. So there's a problem with this capacitance sensor, and also what I've noticed is that if I level it one side, even with auto leveling on, it doesn't level the other side because it's sensing the build plate at a different level almost this sensor so what I'm going to actually do this is quite low at the moment I'll show you that if I can so the actual probe sensor is quite close to the bed as you probably can see there when the nozzle is as good as touching the bed here so I'm going to raise it up physically by adjusting the nuts on the top and then readjust the trimmer on it on one thing or another and see if that sorts out this problem because I don't understand it you know if, if I even if I raise the bed say on one side physically that is it should stop when it reaches that point but it's almost like it stops before it reaches that point on one side and it stops up when it reaches a point on the other side as if the sensor even if it was sensing the aluminium underneath because that's an aluminium sheet there under this acrylic bed and I've tried different materials on here by the way is that it's almost like it's sensing too early on one side as opposed to the other and in different areas anyway I'm going to raise this physically going to undo there's some nuts adjustment nuts on there and that can raise up quite a bit and we try again and see if that will help so I'll come back when I've done that that's going to take a bit of time well as you see I've raised the Capacitance sensor, we get here this simple thing with like the yellowy orange coloured tip on. And I seem to have the problem I had earlier come back to me that is, that the LED on top is flickering at certain times. I'll try to show you that just now. So there's the LED on top, it's lit now, that means it is not triggered, it is not actually touching the bed so far as it's concerned, not that this capacitance sensor would touch the bed anyway, but I'm going to jog down a bit using front of face, just 0 0.1 it is. There we are, there's a flicker there. So as you can see it is flickering. So that's probably gonna you know is it on, is it off? When it's doing the Z home, it comes down, goes back up a bit and comes back down again. So if it switches between the on and off between those two states, it might get a false signal. This is with this capacitance sensor, as you can see there, it's quite high up compared with the nozzle, which is 
right down there. So there's a capacity sensor. It's quite high up compared with this nozzle. And hopefully you can see that it's flickering like a banshee on a bad night. Turn the LED off a bit with my lighting LED. So there's problems with this capacitance sensor. As I say, when it's been going over to the right, even with auto bed levelling, which does appear to work because it does go around sensing. And when I've done a test print, I have seen the Z moving up and down as it prints that test print. We've had an awful lot of problems printing because, well, because of issues like this and also I think the bill plate, well the previous bill plate I had. Now the problem with this acrylic one is if I warm the bed up, 70 degrees odd, this will bow. So it's like contracting or expanding at the bottom and not at the top. It's using this acrylic plate. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. I'm going to have to have a serious think about putting a servo on and a switch on. More physical than something like this. So what on earth's going on here? If you can advise me, I'll be grateful.